Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome into a new Phasmophobia weekly challenge called Deja Vu. This is the challenge where they want to set us back to the time where Phasma was brand new. And all of this is going to happen on Tanglewood. I hope you're joining me for that, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into this weekly. All right, here we are on Tanglewood, guys. And as you can see on the wall, we have a mix between the tier 1 and tier 2 items. And... Uh, if you remember correctly, right, back in 2020, there was no dots. Dots was added later, so we are missing the dots evidence for this challenge. But everything else seems to be here, pretty much. We also don't have any setup time. We also have uh, both monitors. We have 100% sanity. And we have a uh, Georgia Lewis that we are dealing with. We get a nice tier 1 flashlight. The flashlights are actually working. So that's good. Uh, also, something that you probably remember back in 2020 on Tanglewood. It was always raining. Right? There was no variable weather. It was always raining on this on this map. It was even thunderstorms and whatnot. And also, we don't have any running in this challenge, right? There's no running. I can't remember if the, the ghosts were also really slow on this one here. Because back in the day, the ghosts were not able to catch up with you, really. Right? There was only one ghost that could literally kill you or outrun you. And that was the Revenant. That was. That is why the Revenant was so feared back in the day. and uh, Because it was the only ghost technically couldn't loop or couldn't run away so i'm not sure if uh for this challenge here the ghosts are also really slow it might they might be but uh let's see and uh, see if we can find the ghost even also as far as i can see there are no hiding spots on this one here uh they were all all the hiding spots were blocked over there if the this one here is blocked as well i guess yeah it's probably all the hiding spots are blocked for this challenge here something that you can also remember by the way is uh that uh, there's a ouija board here on this challenge because back in the day we only had like a 50 percent chance to get a ouija board uh in the house so there were no other cursed possessions those were added later it seems like the ghost is actually right here as well because it's cold uh cold breath here right and i did turn on the breaker so the the house should warm up and once you see cold breath, you know that the ghost is there. This is very different from uh, what it was back uh, in 2020, obviously, right? As soon as you had cold breath, you knew it was freezing. But uh, right here, uh, you cannot do that anymore. Since they changed it, you need the thermal to confirm that. So here we are. Let's put down the book over here. Uh, we're going to check if the ghost is really here. I mean, he must be, right? It's very cold. It's not uh, freezing yet. It's not below one degree Celsius, so we cannot really tell if it's freezing or not. Oh, you just threw some. Wait, what did you? This one here? You bonk this one here. All right, we have a fingerprint, a juicy fingerprint on uh, the box here. Nice. So we can put this in already. Ultraviolet. Let's quickly check the, the spirit box as well. Are you here? The far we all right uh, that was easy <laughs> one question and we already got it nice so we are currently dealing with uh, a phantom a poltergeist or a mimic for this one here guys and you know what i'm gonna try to see if i can see orbs in the basement with the cam and then i'm gonna trigger hunt and try to figure out if it's either a phantom or a poltergeist just during the hunt so as you can see, if I would find an orb, it couldn't be any of these ghosts. So the orb must be fake and it will be a mimic then, right? So let's go down and see. It bonked on the, the box again. I do not see any orb whatsoever here, but uh, it might be sneaky somewhere, you know. That's why the orb changes position every, every minute or so, every two minutes. So I don't see an orb. So I don't think this is a mimic at this point. So it is most likely a poltergeist or a phantom. I am guessing it's probably from looking at the at activity, it's most likely a phantom, I would say. Right. So let's go and try to trigger a hunt. Do you like pizza? Yes. Good ghost. Good ghost. I like you. Where are you? Basement. You already knew that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, yo, he's very slow. Can he even make it upstairs? Woo! There she is. Oh, no. It's a phantom! It's a phantom! I can barely see it. Oh, it is gonna get fast now, though. It's a phantom. Do you see the slow blinking? You can barely see the blinks, right? 
So the, the ghost actually starts slow, but he, not like in 2020. I mean, they can hardly simulate that apparently, right? I, they should have made it even slower, to be honest, to be more like 2020, because the ghosts were not able to catch up with you. In this challenge here, they are most likely to catch up with me if I'm... If I would have stayed longer in line of sight with the ghost, uh, the ghost uh, certainly would have catched me. So we're gonna go with Phantom on this one. And there we go, it was a Phantom. Good thing is Phantom was actually a Dots ghost, so uh, I'm glad uh, we actually checked during the hunt. Because I couldn't have gotten the evidence anyways, because we don't have Dots for this one here, right? So that was a pretty nice one. Uh, let's go to the second one. Right here we are, guys. Uh, second try. We go in uh, with these two items as always. This time we have a Betty, a Betty Sherman. Sherman, like the tank, you know, in World War II. Let's go and find Betty. Hey, Betty, where are you? Little garbage truck. Come here. Show us. Where are you? We also don't have any hiding spots, by the way. Uh, right? The, all the hiding spots that exist here don't exist. Like they, they literally don't exist. But all the doors seems to uh, seem to be closed for this challenge. So just like uh, back in the day, right? You can uh, you can count on that. There's a bone here. I'm gonna take that. Yum, yum, yum. So no hiding spots, and all the doors are closed. Ah, I just heard a phone, very very far away. I think it was here, just over here. There we go. Right, we got the ghosts, guys. We got the ghost room. Uh, you just did something else. I don't know what. You touch this one here, so it's not fingerprints, guys. We can rule that one out. I think it also just turned on a light. Did it? No? I don't know what it just did. I'm quickly gonna turn on the breaker so we have some lights over there that we can work with. Okay, it did turn on the light over there. Can you see that? So it is uh, totally not a mare if that is even, if that is even, uh, we, we can rule out ultraviolet, right? But we can rule out mare because mares cannot turn on lights. And the ghost just did that. With that light over there. It did turn it off again, alright. Gotcha. Let's quickly check for temps. It is like coming with EMF2 out of nowhere, right? So it might be a wraith, honestly. Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you sexy? Are you horny? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you sexy? Are you horny? Are you? Are you here? Where are you? Okay, I don't think it's that. So we can rule out spirit box as well. We need to check for some orbies in here, right? Give me the orbies, please. I would appreciate that. I don't see any orbies in here. So I don't think you have orbies. Check over here quickly. So many touches of the door. What the hell, mate? Like, that was insane. <laughs> insane frequency as well. Let's check temps again quickly. 4.2, nothing to write home at, unfortunately. Right. Uh, also, still no fingerprints, so it's definitely not fingerprints. Let's check this queer quickly again. Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Ah, wait, wait. Okay, you waited for a long time there. Excuse me. So it could be a wraith. Hold on, I did take some uh, some salt with me, right? The wise potato took some salt. Okay, it did walk into the salt straight away. So it's not a wraith. Here we five. Let's go. So it's a spirit or twins. Interesting, right? Spirit or twins. We should be actually able to get that uh, just with the freezing for uh, for twins and the ghost riding for spirit. So if it's not going freezing, it will be most likely uh, spirit. Let's quickly check again. Still not going into freezing territory, unfortunately. Ah, it's really close, though. But we can get, we can get there. I get, maybe it's delayed, you know, it might be delayed. The book is also very delayed, it seems. 
So it still didn't write in the book. Uh, what about uh, temps quickly? Let's see if you're in the range. Still no. I think this is probably a spirit. Let's quickly get it to hunt and see uh, what it's like during a hunt. Do you like pickles up your butt? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Good question, right? Where are you? Well, foyer are you now? Okay, you're in the foyer. Maybe I need to change. Where are you? Let's get it to hunt. I don't know what goes. May it, maybe it sounds a bit faster. Maybe this turns. Um, um, it is not normal. I mean, I don't know what normal speed is at this speed. <laughs> Come here. We need to smudge it. There she is. She's throwing a lot of things. Smudged it at 37 on my clock there. 29.37 on my clock. Right. So, if it's a spirit, it uh, should take three minutes now for it to rehunt. Or till she's able to rehunt. If she hunts earlier than three minutes, then it is twins, right? Oh, it did write in the book. Never mind. Okay. I actually did write in the book. So, it is a spirit after all. We don't even have to wait three minutes. Right. There we go. We actually got the spirit for uh, the second ghost. Uh, let's go straight away to the third one. All right, third and last one, guys, of uh, this amazing challenge with a Lisa. Wait, we have a Lisa, guys. Lisa in Simbu be excited, man. Let's go and find Lisa, shall we? Lisa, where are you? Come here, put, 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 put. Come to daddy. I think I just heard something. No? Sounded like a throw or so. We need to turn on the lights first. Ah! Uh, that was just a door over here. I think it was back here, no? Yeah, here we go. And the fingerprints straight away. This one here as well. Showed up immediately. Uh, let's check with the EMF as well again. We're gonna throw this straight away there. Uh, we still need to turn on the lights though. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, it's already turned on. So, ah, you turn on the breaker. Wait, what? I didn't even do that. That's amazing. We can straight away rule out Huntu, by the way, because Huntus cannot turn on breakers, right? And the chins cannot turn off breakers. Uh, did it just turn off the breaker again? Are you kidding me? Okay, you turn it on and off so we can rule out chin as well. Let's go. Uh, this is how fast it goes here. <laughs> I think it just used the... Uh, uh, I think it's in here, right? It just threw something over there, though. Like, no ooh, EMF5, all right. We got EMF5, nice, straight away. Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you sexy? Are you horny? Where are you? Are you here? What? Oh! It just wrote in the book. Are you kidding me? This is going way too fast, sir. You cannot, it cannot be, you know, it is straight up a miling with, wait, the book is actually floating, it seems like, it's a magic book, guys, <laughs> that's awesome, so we didn't even have to check during the hunt, but yeah, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna hear a miling, we can quickly trigger a hunt, uh, uh, just like that, hold on a second, ah, miling is also watching TV, that is not allowed here, excuse me, it's too loud, we need, uh, we need, uh, we need some silence here, you know, we need to listen for the miling. Only only then we can figure out the miling properly. So if you didn't know uh, how the miling works, the footsteps of a miling are fading in from 12 meters range, while all the other ghosts, the footsteps are fading in from 20 meters. Uh, so I, I came up uh, back in the day with a test where you basically just have the flashlight on. And if you hear footsteps before uh, the flashlight flickers, uh, which is at 10 meters, um, then it is probably not a miling, right? Or if you can barely hear them, or not at all. But if they fade in with the flickering, then it is a miling. So that's basically the miling test you can do. Do you like pizza up your bum? 
Okay, you don't like pizza up there. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, let's listen. Do you hear that? Nothing. See that? No footsteps. You can hear stuff being thrown around. Right? I don't know footsteps yet. But you can hear all the stuff uh, being interacted with pretty loud. But no footsteps. That's a heavy indication of a miling. Are we gonna get killed by the miling, I would say? Right? Just as a as a nice last one here. Oh, Granny, give me a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> it's just the fastest way to go back to the truck. I'm sorry, guys. All right, that was a nice little challenge. Uh, déjà vu, how the French nicely say it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you like this challenge. Uh, um, if you and also if you played uh, Phasmophobia back in 2020, or if you're new, I would love to know. Right, uh, or if you missed the old days, I would also love to know. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, all these patrons, thank you so much, guys, for your support. Mwah. Big schmutz. Mm -hmm.